Good morning, everybody. This is Patrick Montes de Oca with the Equity Management Academy Weekend Report for March 13, 2021. This report was uh, published in the Associated Press through uh, Seeking Alpha on March 13, 2021. Gold and silver giant bull market awakening. Summary. We have seen a tremendous anomaly in the gold market since the high was made in 2089. We don't think that this is the only major action we are going to see in the gold and silver. The Biden administration just passed the trillion dollar stimulus package. A staggering amount of money has been printed since March 2020. The 10-year note is moving up, suggesting we are moving into an inflationary environment. If you're looking for a portfolio of ideas uh, like this one, members of Mean Reversion Trading get exclusive access to our portfolio in Seeking Alpha. We have seen a tremendous anomaly in the gold market since the high was made at 2089. Even with that high, it did not seem to reach its natural mean based on the crisis in March, when gold became a currency again. Gold shut up plus $600, and we don't think that this is the only major action we're going to see in the gold and silver markets. Silver particularly seem, seems ready for a major move. The precious metals market seem to be uh, uh, seem to discount all of the damage the pandemic was causing, and the metals stayed relatively low in price. There was a lot of selling pressure. The Biden administration just passed a trillion dollar stimulus package. A staggering amount of money has been printed since March of 2020. Such printing of money should be bullish for precious metals. We also uh, still don't know the totality of the damage wreaked by the pandemic. Crude oil is at 67, when just last March it went negative 37. A barrel. It seems logical that crude oil should not have bounced back so much in the face of the damage caused by the pandemic and the reeling economy. Soybeans are up 1460 a bushel. Wheat is up 693. Corn reached 574. Commodities are roaring up and appear to be beginning to show that inflation is here. The Fed says that inflation is running below 2%, but many commodities, especially food and energy, are certainly showing a great deal of rising prices or inflation. Inflation appears to be running at fairly high levels already. In the 1970s, inflation hit double digits right after the U.S. dollar went off the gold standard. In 1981, interest rates were at 14 or 15 percent. Gold hit $800 an ounce. Gold was around 135 before the move. Some experts say that the highest interest rates are bearish for gold. Yet, history appears to disagree. The 10-year note is moving up, suggesting we are moving into an inflationary environment. The 10-year note is at 163.50, a new high. It will be interesting to see how the precious metals markets react. The administration is printing huge amounts of money in the form of stimulus, and debt is increasing rapidly. 
It may exceed 70 trillion by the end of the Biden administration, which is double the debt now. If that happens, inflation will hit new highs and the U.S. dollar will probably collapse. All these factors suggest strongly that you should be long gold and silver, which are real money, not fiat money. Old principles who do not change and gold and silver have been money for thousands of years, particularly when paper currencies collapse, which we appear to be witnessing. Faith in governments and their paper currencies appears to be waning, which is, in part, why Bitcoin and other virtual currencies are finding huge interest. The Eurozone is buying more of their own bonds. Uh, they, like the U.S., continue to provide stimulus to the market. Again, such a policy is inflationary. The sooner we reopen the economy, the better given uh, how the economic fundamentals are in dire straits. Unemployment is still high. Small businesses have gone broke by thousands, by, by the thousand. Inflation is hitting commodities. Interest rates are rising. The dollar, therefore, is losing value. Gold and silver are an incredible opportunity to regain value and gain significant value in these challenging times. Gold mining shares are also highly likely to rise in price significantly. They are currently at fire sale prices. Be careful picking individual stocks, but you can trade the GDX as an index. We also trade Nugget, a 2 to 1 leveraged ETN. It's an exciting instrument to trade if you want to manage margin risk. We strongly believe that gold and silver will reach the fundamentals sooner or later and will skyrocket to all-time highs. We are buying pullbacks and increasing our long-term position in the gold and silver market. When this report was written uh, Friday at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, gold was trading at 17 or 350, down about $19. We used the variable changing price momentum indicator the VCPMI, artificial intelligence algorithm to analyze the markets. The buy one daily level is 1713 and the buy two daily level is 1704. The average daily price is 1725. Yesterday, we saw the completion of a pattern into an area of distribution of supply where sellers came into the market. The supply is overwhelmingly paper, but it doesn't matter in relation to the price action. Gold is trading below the VCPMI buy levels, so the VCPMI recommends buying into the market at these levels. We do not want to trade around the average price because there is a 50-50 chance of the market going up or down. It's 50-50 standard deviation. You want to trade the extremes above or below the mean when there is a much higher probability of the market reverting to the mean. The buy two levels has a 90% chance of the market returning to the mean from that level above. While the buy one level has a 90% chance of the market reverting to the mean from that level. They are not 100% guaranteed, but the odds are heavily in your favor. Do not sell into buy one or buy two, even though the prices may still come down, a 5% or 10% chance. The odds heavily favor the market reverting back up from the buy levels. The gold market has come down to the extreme levels around the B2, the buy two. If we activate a trigger, uh, then there is a 90% chance that the market will revert back toward the mean. If gold goes down uh, through the buy two level, then the 1668 comes into place as the next level. The golden ratio is 18, excuse me, 1685, which is the Fibonacci retracement level of 61.8%. Retracement 
from the high we made in August at 2089 and the March 20 law of 1450. Even if gold goes down to 1685, it still does not break the bullish pattern. The daily and weekly VCPMI signals are in harmony. Gold is oversold. If we close above 1704, then we will have a trigger to buy. Gold hit 1705, so we are recommended. So we recommended buying. The weekly average of 1313 matches the daily buy one level of 1313. It is a harmonic alignment, which is a powerful signal to buy with strong probabilities that if the market will move up from there, that the market will move up from there. If it closes above 1713, the daily and weekly signal will support each other. Then 1725 will be activated as the daily target, while the weekly target is 1743. Silver, daily patterns. Silver is at 25.65, down 54. Uh, we got up, we got uh, about $2 move uh, from yesterday. The volatility is increasing tremendously. Silver has activated a buy trigger at 25.55, the buy two level. Since then, silver has been reverting from that level. If you do buy, we recommend a maximum catastrophe stop, depending on your profile. We use a $1,000 stop, regardless of the signal, but yours will vary depending on your profile. We do not recommend straight stops, or you will get stopped out constantly. For conservative traders, you can place a stop at the trigger point. You may get stopped out, but it but you won't lose much, if anything. The targets above will be the weekly average price of 25.77, and then the daily target of 25.87. If it closes above that level, then it will activate the final target of 26.21. That would be a considerable move. So silver is at an extreme level below the mean, in a no result condition. Disclosure, I am, we are long nugget. I wrote this article myself and it expresses my own opinion. Are you looking for an automated artificial intelligence trading system? Do you want to analyze commodities and financial markets to determine when to buy and sell? Looking for an indicator to predict future trends in the commodities and financial markets? Welcome to EMA2 Trade Live Signals. Our Variable Changing Price Momentum Indicator, VCPMI, is an automated AI trading system developed and tested over a decade. The VCPMI algorithm is based on age-old vortex mathematics combined with Fibonacci wave theory, trend analysis, pivot points, and several other widely accepted financial analytical methods. The VCPMI can help you take emotions out of your trading and rely on simple mathematics to predict future trends in financial markets. This approach will make your trading more effective, consistent, and profitable. VC PMI algorithm. The VC PMI code points and levels are support and resistance levels and behave exactly like any historical supply and demand level. Therefore, the VC PMI code levels are useful as an index tool for both day trading and for selecting and exercising entries and exits for longer term traders. Why VC PMI? The VCPMI relies on artificial intelligence to analyze markets and predicts future movements, which seek to determine what a security or commodity is worth at a given point in time. 
the VCPMI uses technical analysis in the form of mean reversion trading, which seeks to capitalize on extreme changes in the pricing of a particular market based on the assumption that it will revert to its previous state. The VCPMI can be applied to both buying and selling as it allows a trader to profit on unexpected upswings and save when security or commodity is trading at an abnormal level. Visit ema2trade.com for more details.